good day, YouTubers. Uh, pretty cold out there today, and a lot of people having heater issues. If it's not uh, no heat, it's because the fan isn't running, or it's only running on high, or when you shut the key off, it continues to run. Well, I want to show you uh, the problem we have with this S10 is uh, when you shut the key off, the blower just keeps running, and we have to come out here, and we have to disconnect this uh, wiring harness that goes into the blower to kill it. So uh, the issue that we have with it is right here. This relay has decided to short out, and on these S10s and a lot of these Silverados and the newer vehicles, uh, I think all the way up to 2006, uh, the battery, there's a hot wire from the battery that runs straight to this uh, particular relay. And when this relay goes bad, it just sticks and it feeds constant power all the way to that blower motor right there. And you have to come out here either unplug it or disconnect the battery. But we're not disconnecting the battery because it's going to be too much work. So we got that disconnected right now. And just to give you a little bit of a school here, anytime you have an issue when you shut your car off and that fan just keeps running, more than likely it's going to be your relay. Now on this S10, this relay is actually bolted right here on the firewall. It is hooked in with this big wiring harness. Now, if your blower on the inside, if you have no one, two, or three, but as soon as you hit either three or four, depending on which one you have for high, it works only on high, then more than likely it's going to be your blower resistor. Now on this one, we replaced this because it was doing that. We had no one, two, or three speeds. We'd only have high. That's very annoying. So we replaced that and uh, it's working okay. Then about a month later, of course, we ran into the issue here. And now we are going to fix it. So what we got now, we got a brand new relay. We're going to stick on it and uh, we're going to go ahead and hook everything up here and hopefully it'll be okay. And also we even got a nice little uh, clip there. And um, this particular blower resistor bolts on this S10 right there on the firebox of the heating and cooling system is held on by three seven little millimeter socket bolts here if i can find my little tiny socket right here these little guys and uh you got this pigtail harness here that kind of snaps down on there and that is basically how that goes now the motor uh, the relay is uh, bolted right there you can see that little rusty clip that's what we're going to put it on. And once we do that, we should be able to control our heating speeds on the inside. So let me go ahead and stick this one here and we'll check it out. All right, got our blower resistor bolted back in there. So we'll go ahead and hook this up. So we know it's brand new from a few weeks ago. And now we'll go ahead and hook up the uh, other one here. And uh, we'll fire this thing up and see if that took care of the blower being on all the time. I will caution you when we start this up, you're probably going to hear that motor squeaking a little bit because it is now time to replace it it's, it's stuck on high all the time and it's caused the bearings to probably uh, get burned up in it so if your motor starts to squeaking it's probably because the bearings are getting burned up and you're going to have to replace it sooner or later but it's pretty easy to fix out here it looks like just four bolts uh, seven millimeter bolts to take out and uh, it should be easy access but we're not going to worry about that today uh, we're just going to fix the uh, controlling speeds of the fan for now so we don't have to leave this on and uh, come out here and unplug it every time we shut the car off so uh, we'll go ahead and stick uh, this guy on here and we'll start it up and see how she does all right we've got a little clip there bolted on and we simply just plug this harness together like this and uh, we take the back of it and kind of push up and slide down and we knew now we have a brand new uh relay so uh, like i said some of the silverados the chevrolets if you're having this problem the blower's on all the time when you shut the key off these are under the kick panel on the passenger side uh, they are a little different they're electronic but they're basically the same purpose you'll have to get under there and probably take it out and change it but please do some research so now we're all together let's start this up and see what we get well, okay, folks, that took care of the problem. Now when I shut the key off, it stops. I don't have to worry about the uh, blower blowing now. And uh, also, you can see that I can't control my speeds. You probably can't hear it, but... There's four, three, two, and one. And they're, they're all working, which is great. And we'll go out here, and we'll... Uh, Got the wire hooked up on that blower motor there. 
and it's not running so that is great we don't have to worry about running our battery down every time uh, we shut the vehicle off so there you go uh, thanks for watching and hopefully this will help you out like i said uh more than likely these guys here uh, that relay is going to be under your dash, but a lot of these S10s, it's right there. Something that people overlook all the time. And like I said earlier, there's a main wire that goes from the battery, and it's a hot wire that goes straight to that, and it hooks straight into your uh, system on the inside and feeds power constantly to that right there. So it's kind of a design flaw, I think. But, hey, that's the way it is sometimes. You just got to uh, do what you can. But uh, it's got a part back on it that should work. And we shouldn't have no more problems with the blower. Although we will have to change that blower later because it is squeaking. It's time for it. And because it was on high all the time so much, it's pretty much uh, destroyed that uh, blower motor. So we'll replace that sometime down the road and uh, take care of that. So there you go. It's uh, still pretty cold outside. Glad I got that done because uh, we're going to need plenty of heat for a little while. Looks like we are going to stay in the deep freeze for another few days before... It starts to warm up so stay warm everybody until next time later